parking lot in in the middle of the night or whatever, and just like yeah, and they're like all up. and they're all dressed up in like suits and have sunglasses. On. Yeah, they just like talk about how nice each other looks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was very good. That was a good one. I got this bag because I don't even know what to do with my hands. Why do you think I'm wearing these gloves? <laughs> <laughs> So fantastic that that in the uh, um, the following mission, Tony Lucido. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the uh, the one about Airbud and Beethoven? That one was also very funny. Yes, <laughs> we're like, God, my whole life is a lie. <laughs> yeah, the Air, Air Bud and Beethoven think they've been in mo- in like doing things in real life this whole time. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Air Bud discovers that he actually isn't a basketball star. <laughs> yeah, it's just a movie. It was fake the whole time. <laughs> I just love the, like, thousand-yard stare Beethoven has at the end when he's just, like... <laughs> when he's about to go on stage to, like, accept an award for saving yeah. people's lives or something. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he saved 80 dogs' lives. <laughs> <laughs> Releasing them from that nasty animal control poacher or whatever. <laughs> um, so I have an urgent quest. Do we want to do that, or should we just keep doing high rank stuff? Uh, let's get all of your key quests out of the way, unless Chris Cranston, who is also here, would like to do something. I would like yeah. to formally apologize for being a bad friend. Eh, we're used to it. <laughs> oh, are we? Well, we're used to it, not from you. Are you uh, are you purposefully blasting mm. out your mic, or is that uh, my end? Me? Yeah. I don't think I have touched the gain on my mic in... But it does seem... Oh, it no. Like oh, no, yes. I know what happened. Oh, this, this is just to say that, Chris, I think you are a good friend. I appreciate you. No, my girl... And even though so I'm turning you down to 100%, because I had to have 200%. <laughs> How is this anything? Is this different? It's slightly better. I haven't like I have I have not touched microphone stuff in a long time. I do not know. You you sound fine now to me. Okay, now you sound like the quietest boy. And now I ha- I have certainly not. Actually, wait, no, that's because that's because I turned down my volume because I plugged it in and you guys were loud. Ah. Uh... Weird. Um. <laughs> so, I remember Chris needed Anjanath stuff or something. We could do an I think I probably had some Anjanath stuff. Yeah, that is one of the quests that I need to do. Because I think I added the Anjanath armor to my infinite list. Infinite list. I need an Anjanath gem. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm half remodeling. <laughs> this game is out on the personal computer now. Is it true? Maybe so. If only you could play it with literally anyone who owns this game. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, that's something else. Do you think you'd get it? Yes. Oh, you're gonna get it, or? No, I would get it if oh. it had crossplay and or cross saves. Yes. Yeah. Really, one or the other is. Yeah. Would make it worth it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, my voice does also seem super hot. Uh, the video game on OBS, so maybe I will just turn my mic gain down, <laughs> even though I haven't touched I was gonna it. Say I did- turn you down even further yeah how's i mean it's still that's that's gain at literally that that's like that's like seven o'clock that's as low as i can get it and it still feels super hot that's probably normal if i turn you back up that's normal it looks so hot why too what? hot why? Okay, not, but it still looks exactly the same pretty much in Voice Meter Banana. Why is... Why did everything on my computer change? 
Annabelle. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, Jordan, where are we at? Oh, I'm sorry. So not there for a second. <laughs> Look, it's what been if a I... week. I'm gonna do something drastic. Mute me. Uh oh. Wait, wait. now. Oh shit! Am I back? Yeah. You're back. Yeah. I mean, you sound like a person. I sound like a person. Um, how is my... How is... How is... How is the sounds? How are the sounds? Are they any different at all? I have you back at 200%, which is where we started this whole yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like you sound fine now. Yeah. You are back to, to normal Chris voice. I, I am and back I, to... I also have you at 185%. So. What the fuck? Why did so the, the drastic thing I did was uh, unplug my USB audio interface and plug it back in to power it off. Ah, uh, the the IT response. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes that's been the culprit. Um, but instead, it just made me freak out because nothing was working and say "oh fuck" to myself a lot. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Owen, we ready to go? Yeah, I'm sorry. Got it. I got it. <laughs> you, That's you... from Mario Party 3, right? It seems like it, yeah. It's about, I got it. It must be when Wario gets a star or something. Yeah. I love that man and his wares. I've never played a WarioWare game. They're pretty They're pretty fun. It's it, but it's more when you're playing with other people. Yeah, it's kind of like someone just threw all the Jackbox games into like a pile and mixed them up and then you play them at random. Yeah, pretty much. Just like Jackbox. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe Jackbox isn't the best example, but it's like it's it's a micro just, games. Yes, yeah. it's extremely micro randomized game. micro game. Imagine a mini game, but make it even minier. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think any of them are longer than like ten or fifteen seconds. Yeah, WarioWare is like one of those games that I respect and have never owned and have played once ever. Yeah. Yes, I, I think Ernest had it. Anyway, <laughs> Ernest. Yeah, um, the importance of being. Yeah, Ernest. That Borgnine. was where I was going next. What was that? A book thing, I assume. Uh, it is a play. It is a play by Oscar Wilde. Yes. The importance of being Ernest. Yep, yeah, because because his name is Ernest. I was gonna go for Ernest, scared, stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's another good one. This is a large. Ernest, Ernest goes to jail. I said fucking Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> That's another solid one, honestly. Lots, of, lots of good Man. Ernest options. Rest in peace, Mermaid Man. Yeah. And Bobacle! <laughs> <laughs> Mermaid Man and Bobacle! <laughs> hey, Tim. The pre-2004 Spongebob. Classic. Indeed. And uh, my Mermaid Man movie. 
Yeah, Are they real. make a Mermaid Man movie. I I assume I that was a joke, but also seems like something that could happen. You know, yes. I, I wouldn't be shocked if they did it. It was a joke, but they did do it, and I, I actually remember there's a very vivid scene. It's pretty disturbing where they do desecrate Ernest Borgnine's corpse. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Mermaid Man does. Yeah, that's uh, it's it's a, actually incredibly fucked up was, on sea levels. Was Ernest Borgnine buried at sea? Makes sense. <laughs> Why does it make sense? The man, like man who would have been a sailor. Yeah, young, young Mermaid Man was voiced by Adam West, who is now also dead. Um, young Mermaid Man was voiced by Adam West. That had yeah, to be a, was, that had like, to be a new SpongeBob thing, right? It was. It was okay. There's no way that I man mean, is, like, more than three years younger than Ernest Borgnine. I know. I'm going to be <laughs> shocked he's older. <laughs> yeah, wait, he was young Mermaid Man. Yeah, he was young Mermaid <laughs> Man. <laughs> at a ripe old age of, like, 80-something. It's a good uh. joke, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Honestly, Connor, oh boy. <laughs> I'd wish to voice every superhero. Yeah. Rest in peace to him as well. Yeah. Wonder if the oh, guy who plays Flower is still alive. Oh right, I was I kept oh, thinking, who the frick did he play in Fairly Odd Parents? But he played TV's Adam West. Right, yeah, he played Adam he West. Played TV's Adam West. Why, why was Adam West Adam West in so many properties? Because well, I guess mostly just. Family Guy, and I think he's just too recognizable as Adam. Wasn't West to he cast the mayor in else. Family Guy? Yeah, he was the mayor in Family he Guy, was, and he was the mayor himself. Yeah, he yeah, was he Mayor was Adam West. Adam West, yeah. Huh. <laughs> it's TV's Adam, Adam West. West. Where? Mm. Where? <laughs> There's another show that used to be good and funny. There's a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> Name two more. Uh. Mm. uh <laughs> there aren't SpongeBob, I guess. Yeah, you guys are really, um, really putting this theory of yours through the shitter. I mean, we'll <laughs> think of it. Ooh, uh, X Files. Uh, this one. Uh huh. X Files used to be hilarious. I, I remember. Like, funny? I, I remember in good. season one of the X Files where they basically did John Carpenter's The Thing. What a riot! Does <laughs> Teen Titans count? Fuck. Yeah, no, that shit was going all the way through. It was a different Teen Titans. That's true. That's true. And they just refuse to acknowledge. Well, anytime they do acknowledge it, they just shit all over it. it oh yeah, now Teen point. Titans is only funny. And that's yeah. The whole thing. <laughs> I mean, I think that's true to the comics, probably, maybe. I don't know. Is there it's a like, Teen Titans when it comic? Was really yeah, an engaged... the, no, Ooh, I understand no. that the Titans is a thing, but is there a Teen Titans comic? I don't think so. I think probably, yes, I'm sure there's a Teen Titans comic that tied in with the, the show. Yeah, that makes That sense. was probably released in the early 2000s. Yeah, but... yeah, I'm sure they did. I mean, they did that with Batman the Animated Series, too. Hmm. I mean, Teen Titans was definitely a thing before the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was... Teen Titans was, like, from the 70s. Was okay. it really? Yeah. Yeah. I think it started in the 70s and had its heyday in the 80s with Wolfman and Perez. That's a 70s syndicated cop show and you can't say otherwise? <laughs> no, there's, there's a very famous comic writer whose name was Wolfman. Wolfman! <laughs> he was very popular in the 80s. Is he who Teen Wolf was based on? Probably. I'll go with that. Teen Wolfman. Teen Wolfman. Is Teen Wolf originally a comic? I don't, I don't think so. Michael J. Fox, that's so. all I got. <laughs> that was John Landis, right? Who directed that? May as the not original. Be. So, wait, was he the guy who got those people killed with a helicopter? Oh, John yeah. Landis. John Landis right. murdered people? Not, yes. Not, not on purpose. Well, no. That was... I was about to say, no one murders on purpose, but that's just... <laughs> yeah. Incorrect. Definitionally false. 
to look bad because some of someone else's choices. Yeah, because uh, he was the director of what was that movie? It was um, Blues Brothers. Twilight Zone. That's right. No. Well, he also did direct Blues Brothers. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. The same helicopter murder man. Yeah. Huh. Man who got multiple people killed by a helicopter in his movie shoot. Also directed um, Blues this Brothers. Hmm. Thing and wasn't it like teenagers? I think it was, it was a teenagers. Child. Yeah, it was like a kid. That's fucked. I think it was a pair of kids and a stop. Yeah. A parakeet. Yes. That's definitely what I said. Pairs. Yeah, two two kids and the main actor guy, right? Yeah. Hmm. Which is uh, rough stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What a great moment in TV history. Did he, like, show remorse? Yeah. I assume so. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's ever really been, like, firmly established if it was, like, negligence or if it was just kind of bad oh, luck. Oh, it's asleep, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no. Right. Oh, and then that, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. It only does that, yeah. It, at least it wasn't me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it was he, because I remember he got sued for negligence um, or like purpose, like child endangerment or something. Because um, he put a bunch of kids on the helicopter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, he was just, it was flying too low and there were fireworks. Yeah. It, it basically ended up that the, I, I don't know exactly what happened, but it was like, the blades of the helicopter were somehow involved. Yeah. Whoa. It yeah. Was, so like the bad. worst kind of thing that can happen with a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. The one that everyone instinctively looks at a helicopter and goes, "Hey, it would be bad if." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing hey, that why are we terrified of helicopters? Hey, why they is got, this? Uh, why is this the way we're they, trying to take flight majestically into the sky? Yeah, I don't think I will ever ride a helicopter. No. No. I they got a use at this point. Engineered by Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Well, yeah, I think yeah. it was engineered by Leonardo da Vinci, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Another one of my many random moments of, as a child, sympathizing with a character because they had a mustache, and that's literally the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was a Nazi. Nazi. Nazi mustache. I mean, mm. yeah. Where does one end and the other begin? <laughs> I mean, most Nazis did not have mustaches. Prove that. Yeah. But, Prove uh, that statement, I mean, Tim. Literally, look at most pictures from World War Two. <laughs> yeah, but like, Nazis like... have a mustache associated with them, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think Hitler was like the only one who really consistently had a mustache. Again, prove this claim. Like literally, look at pictures of most. Yeah, you uh, think you think just Nazis. You think there are enough like, pictures to have fo like photographic evidence of a majority of Nazis? <laughs> and any of the famous ones, like Goebbels. Oh, or, so now uh, you're you're moving the goalposts because you understand that. I mean, but seriously though, like how many Nazi pictures can you think of where they all had mustaches? No, I can think of so many Nazi pictures, Chris, <laughs> and most of you don't have mustaches. Well, okay, I guess <laughs> most of you like, don't like look at World War II shit as much as I do then. But yeah. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> well, I, I watch, I look at a fair amount of World War II shit, but it's mostly like tanks, not pictures <laughs> of Nazis. What about tanks as portrayed by anime girls? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. No. No, you mean battleships, Chris. No, girls I'm talking about Hitler. Girls und Panzer. Girls mm. und Panzer. Um, but like, I, I honestly think they had like some sort of rule against it or something, because like, I feel oh, like, like most of them didn't. I'm, I'm sure that the the Nazis had a very strict like discipline. Uh, yeah, but consider oh, no. Owen. Consider this. I'm speaking of a position of complete ignorance with unfounded confidence. So, who's the real <laughs> correct one? I mean, I guess it did help me try and find justification for knowing that much about Nazis. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't get to say what I was going to say, which is that, like, do you just have, like, a large repository of, like, mental pictures of Nazis? Like, <laughs> I mean... It's actually a suppository. Ew. Just oh, there's a sleeping Rajang here? Look yeah, at there's just a sleeping about World War II and the Holocaust and stuff, like... 
there's plenty of pictures. Tim. <laughs> Let me be honest. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, now well, they do anyway. That works out rather well. All I know is that Ray Fiennes does not have a mustache in Schindler's List, and he was also Voldemort, who yeah. is also a Nazi and very much does not have a that, mustache. Uh, perhaps or incapable of growing facial hair. That Nazi. Yeah, but I think that Voldemort would have facial hair. Can you imagine him with like a little pencil thin mustache? He'd definitely do that if he could. Yeah, I mean, he was human at one point. I don't think he had a little pencil thin mustache. No. Uh, excuse me, but Johnny Depp played who? Wait, Grindelwald. <laughs> that's different than Voldemort. That, no, that's man. that's a different literal Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting my, I'm getting my wizard Nazis mixed up here. <laughs> I think Too it's, many wizard Nazis. I think well, it's, Tim, we don't know. J.K. Rowling never said if Voldemort didn't have a pencil thin <laughs> mustache. <true. laughs> Voldemort tried to draw a mustache, so he speared a bit of shit from his shit stained pants over his lower lip. What is happening, Jordan? Very tired. <laughs> um, what was the horrible thing that we made up about Stan Lee? Oh no. Oh He's no. Um, or Jordan, is that just you and me? I think it probably was you and me, but I don't remember. No, I remember us joking about Stan Lee. <laughs> Oh, um, in the vein of J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yes, it and it was. <laughs> oh, wait, was it about Jesse Owens or the, the, Jesse the, Owens? The, no, this started. This started with me saying the 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 the, the Stan Lee quote, where it's like one of the best thing, the best decision we ever made about Spider Man was putting him under a mask so that anyone could be Spider Man. Right. Did that on accident. Oh, right. <laughs> and it turned yeah. into and it turned into like stuff like <laughs> him just making outrageous claims. Yeah, <laughs> and, who then, is. and it became like oh, <laughs> and then like no, we've seen who Spider Man is, Stan. Like you've shown us under the mask. <laughs> no, no, I can confidently report to you today that Spider Man is a proud Latina woman. <laughs> the Peter Parker is a proud Latina a woman. <laughs> Spider Man has always been Indian, <laughs> and we're finally, for the first time, taking the mask off. Mm. You took the mask off at the first issue, Stan. I don't you know, know what, what you're talking like. about. I invented <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> Peter Parker. I don't know who We've that is. I mean, uh, actually, we we ran out of color for that issue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would not would not be surprising at all if that is what actually happened. <laughs> the real name was supposed to be Pedro Parker, but <laughs> Pedro Pascal, the actor, is Spider Man. Is Spider Man? Pedro Pascal was born twenty years ago, Stan. He, he wasn't alive when Spider Man. It's all fan made. fiction. I'm just a I'm a big fan of that man's acting talent. Did you see the Mandalorian? And then he took his helmet off. Just like and he's a Latina woman. Just like a very specific spider that you'll see in next month's issue. And taking the helmet <laughs> off. Wait, how did Stanley see the metaphors? How did Stanley what? what did say, Tim? I said, how did Stanley see the Mandalorian? That, that's <laughs> the most outlandish thing in this story. He invented. I mean, it. didn't the first season come out while he was still alive? I don't think so. No, it was because that came out. Wait, no, that was the second season that came out at the end of the last year. Yeah, because he died in 2018. When did Stan okay. Lee die? November 12th, 2018. Google just <laughs> autofilled that for me, the fucking monster. <laughs> Mandalorian. Not Mandolin. Nah. Oh, no. Literally a year later. The exact date. Holy a shit. Year later. <laughs> In utter spite. Holy shit, John Favreau <laughs> killed. Thanks, Stanley's dead. Now we can finally release the Mandalorian. <laughs> we have to wait. We have to wait our contractually obligated 365 days. Well, John Favreau did direct multiple Marvel movies, and Stanley was in multiple Marvel movies. Oh my <laughs> god! We got we got opportunity and motive. We were talking about the X Files earlier. <laughs> We were talking uh, about the X-Files earlier. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I did like in uh, the new Spider-Man when um, uh, Jamie Lee... 
Jamie Fox? Jamie Fox. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis. Fox. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> would be very different if he was played by a Jamie Lee Curtis. Let me tell you. <laughs> when, Whoa, I want this. I want this. I want this as well, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to put it out of the world because it has to happen now. Like, imagine Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> in uh, fucking Dives Out. <laughs> that Jamie Lee Curtis, but now yeah. with lightning power. But with an arc reactor <laughs> taped to her chest. <laughs> yeah. Solid. Love oh, this it. power. Make it happen. I can feel What it. I was going to say um, was I, I loved how Electro was just disappointed that Spider Man wasn't black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was just like, oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. Tim, did you go see it? Yeah. Did you see it? No, but I mean, the internet spoiled it for me, so. Okay, well, we, we won't say too much else, but it yeah. is very good. Yeah. I mean, it was the worst man. kept secret in Hollywood that the yeah. other two were in. So. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. Uh, no, it's, a, it's a good Spider-Man. I heard it's really good. Oh, oh fuck! And the the people Eternals were, uh, came out on Disney Plus yesterday, and I still haven't watched it. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're doing either, man. So. That's not the button I want. You gotta get on those Eternals. I want to I can't see. Be the old, I can't be the only one who's seen it. I want to see the Celestials <laughs> fuck the Earth into existence. Was there in, in Spider Man? Was there a Celestials thing going on, or was that just nah. some weird cosmic stuff I didn't understand? Uh, I think it was just weird cosmic stuff. I, it was like okay. weird multiverse stuff. Yeah. Was is just, there literally a character in the Eternals called Star Fox? I don't think so. There? No. Because I typed in the Eternals, and Harry Styles is apparently playing a character called Star Fox. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no I, I don't think so. Harry Styles is Star Fox 64 in. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that? Uh, oh, apparently it's a mid credits scene. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. He plays like a, a weird like space dude that I didn't recognize. Yeah, the brother of Thanos. My 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 problem with all is really let me down what? on on this one. You know, Harry Styles. Sort of... Harry Styles is the brother of Thanos. Now there I is a whole, the there is a whole thing about um about why Thanos, Thanos looks the way he does, and he does look very specifically different than like everyone who okay. is seemingly related to him. I but did not pick up that that was Harry Styles. But isn't Harry Styles enormous? Wouldn't he have to be enormous? Harry Styles. Harriet Tubman. Hmm. Well, <laughs> going weird places with this one. <laughs> Harry Styles has been Harriet Tubman this whole uh, time. Uh, <laughs> apparently, S Star Fox is his superhero name. Yeah. Have you guys seen? I don't know what game it's from, but have you seen that clip of like? It must be the intro of a Star Fox game. He's like, the name's Fox McCloud. My father is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's so Joe's easier recorded that. <laughs> and then they yeah. just cut it off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, stick to the script, please. Yeah. <laughs> what are we fighting here? Very off? Very off. Yeah. Okay. I enjoy a very yeah. off. You got yourself killed. What was the... Uh... <laughs> Tim, do you follow Joe Zija on Instagram? Uh, I follow him on Twitter. Oh, okay. Did you, did you see his post where he was, like, pretending to be some random student at uh, Garrick Mock getting killed by Claude? <laughs> um, you know, I feel like I I passed by it, but, but did not watch it or whatever. Okay, yeah, he, like, gets an axe thrown at him, and then it cuts to Claude, like, one of Claude's victory dialogues after he kills somebody. He's like, you got yourself killed. He's like, you literally threw an axe at me! <laughs> <laughs> Is this, is this Fire Emblem? Yeah. No, it's Spider right. Emblem. Spider Emblem. I'd play that game. No, wait, no, I wouldn't. You know, Claude from Fire Emblem was always a Latino <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, you don't, you don't have any control over that franchise. I <laughs> founded Intelligent came out a year Systems. After my death. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I didn't have any control over the character designs. <laughs> but he is a Latina woman. It's like, 
Stan, Stan, stop. <laughs> Please. If they listened to me, Claude Fire Emblem would have huge knockers. <laughs> Stan, you need to leave. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea for a superhero. Claude Fire Emblem. <laughs> <laughs> kind of put that in one of my comics. Stan, yeah, you haven't been comics for 20 years. <laughs> I'll give it as an idea for one of the contestants on my game show. <laughs> Whatever that show was, and I can't even remember its name. Who wants to be a superhero? That's right. Excelsior! Excelsior! What a contrived show. I know, that I ate up as a kid for whatever. Yep. I feel like I watched a season of that. I yeah. Was that I on sci-fi? It was on sci-fi, yep. Yeah. Yes. And then whoever won <laughs> got featured in fucking Mega Snake or whatever. <laughs> Mega Snake. Oh, that's so bad. You remember that? Like that he movie. just randomly got shoehorned into the movie. <laughs> oh, so bad. You could be <laughs> part Mega of Snake by Channel Extended Universe. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. It's like, look, it's feedback. It's like, oh yeah, that superhero that unless you've seen this TV game show. You have no idea what the fuck is happening. <laughs> so bizarre. Your first task, if you want to become a superhero, is to kill Rive Liefeld in cold blood right in front of me. You have one hour. You have to force him at gunpoint to draw feet. Draw <laughs> <laughs> human character with normal human anatomy. <laughs> He starts at the ankles and starts working up, and you cock your trigger. <laughs> <laughs> you better get back to those feet, Rob. <laughs> I'll be waiting on those feet, Rob. <laughs> you missed a spot, Rob. <laughs> I'll get to the feet, Dan. I just, I just feel like I need to get the rest of the character first. I need those tarsals, <laughs> Rob. I need no, those tarsals. I need those tarsals. <laughs> I just, I need to gather inspiration for the feet first. Mm. I don't send feet for free, Rob. <laughs> I noticed that you conveniently drew the character from the waist up, and the, <laughs> everything else is out of frame, Rob. <laughs> now, I am going to ignore the absolute freight train that is this man's pectorals. <laughs> <laughs> Or the fact that this this woman would not physically be able to have breasts this large. <laughs> God, but she oh, does man. have a dump truck. <laughs> I see you also did not draw her feet. <laughs> Conveniently positioned below the dumpy. <laughs> below the dumpy? <laughs> Because literally his only characters of note are Kane and Deadpool, right? Or Cable and Deadpool? I think so. Yeah. Wrestler Kane from the WWE and Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even the guy who made Deadpool popular. He wasn't? Nah, he, Deadpool was like just a generic like merc dude. And then someone else was just like, he should be funny. Yeah, and also have, like, did, was he the one so who gave him cable. all the superpowers? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. So he was just exactly the same as Cable before they had a, their dynamic. Well, no, yeah. he was exactly the same as Slade. Yeah, Slade the Wilson. Deathstroke. Mm -hmm. Which is why he is named Wade Wilson. <laughs> yes. It's very obvious. <laughs> Rob! Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He oh, was literally just lifted Deathstroke, but then they gave him like his own dick and personality. But there, is, there may have been like an element of parody or something, but I don't yeah. know. Is it because he, is Deadpool Marvel? I can't even remember at this point. Yeah, yeah. Deadpool is Deadpool, yeah, Marvel. Deadpool is Marvel. Okay. He's a debatably a mutant. He's Marvel versus Capcom two. Yeah. Mm. He's debatably a what? A mutant. Uh, yeah, he's got a latent mutant power. Uh, yeah, he's definitely like an ancillary X character. Yeah, yeah. Because I forget was his. In the comics, did he always have his mutant power, or was it, like, grafted like, onto him? 
it got like activated under extreme stress. Like, That's right. Okay. Like, what, with okay, the, so the, what with the cancer? Yeah. Yeah. And so you got like an especially uh, aggressive form of cancer, which is why his skin is like terrible. It's all fucked up. Yeah. Because I know in like obviously no one takes X Men Origins Wolverine seriously, but I know in that one they were just like, nope, we just stole Wolverine's healing ability and yeah. gave it to him. Well, because he does have healing, he does have a healing factor. Like that's yeah, he's got that's his the entire shit. Factor. Yeah, you know, X Men Origins Wolverine made me think that Deadpool's power was to like pool all of the X Men's powers together, and that's why he was named that. <laughs> right. Huh. Yeah, the name was, is bad. That's, that's poorly done. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the tail. Because he also had like the Cyclops laser. What? That's right. You're right, yeah, and he had Wolverine and the, claws, but they were katanas. Yeah, yeah, he had the Wolverine claws, but they were just who, who made Deadpool functional, is what I'm Googling. I, I don't remember. It, it's definitely known. It, it's one guy's character, and I can't remember who. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. No, oh, he's the other guy who made Deadpool Ryan functional. Mm. Where? Where? <laughs> favorite moments. I think, was it from the original Deadpool movie where he or is it the second one where he goes and kills his past role? <laughs> uh, that's the second one. He okay. gets the, he gets really the time belt back from... Yeah, where he shoots himself in the head after accepting the Green Lantern role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like at the very end of the movie. Yeah, it's in like a, it's a mid credit scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just sitting there and he's like, you did it, Ryan. You made it, and it's from the point of view from the the contract, and it just gets splattered with blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, <clears throat> like someone I could have made they, a Green Lantern movie. I know. I do yeah. hope they make like a legitimate Green Lantern movie at some point. Oh wait, I'm attacking a sound. Oh, yeah. Why is there a sound I can't hear too? Yeah. Wait, what was the barrier never here? You know, the barrier's over here. I literally thought I was attacking the very off with the monster that whole time. Me too. I'm the only one here, guys. I got very confused, especially because I'm used to fighting the same monster over and over. So I was just like, "Oh yeah, Somnicant, that's fine." Uh -huh. <laughs> I did not even notice. Narga Kuga. Me. Well, now I'm on this. Yeah. Now I guess should I go ride the Sonic can? I'm gonna go ride <laughs> now. Owen's still down here by the Sonic can for some reason. Wait, now the Sonic can's going up. Yeah, Owen's I'm going. trying to run back to where you guys are. Gonna as soon as he's up here. All right. <clears throat> Here's Wiz goes. Is the, the freaking Actosome still here too? What a disaster! What? Yeah. God. Too many wow, monsters. Wow. Yeah. This is this is a lot. <laughs> in like the narrowest section in the entire map. <laughs> yeah. It's like, did you want four hunters and three monsters shoved into this? Monster? Now they're both going to be asleep. No, I was reading about Deadpool, so I wasn't there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was. It, it seemed like it was a gradual. It was like actually a pretty gradual thing into him turning into like modern Deadpool, like the Deadpool we know today. <laughs> yeah, like Rob Liefeld actually, uh, to his credit, did like want like the healing factor thing going because he was like, my idea was if. Uh... Oh wow, there was a lot happening here, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So, I cannot believe this actor was still here. <laughs> Uh, if if Wolverine was Project X, then I wanted Deadpool to be Project I X or Project Nine because he's like one of the eggs that got cracked along the way to making Wolverine happen. Yeah, oh, okay. you'd be shocked at how long it took Project X to become Project Ten. Oh yeah, it was just called Project X just as a cool name originally. Yeah, yeah because X Men. It's just the weird yeah. like Canadian like. Evil. The Canadian government is surprisingly evil in the, the Marvel universe. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the oh, worst. Oh, that's right, because Logan is Canadian. <laughs> yeah, he was a Canadian. Uh, he was on Alpha Force. 
He was like the Canadian Special Forces. And then Alpha, Alpha Force, Force is fucking said. weird, man. <laughs> it doesn't. It, it's a. It's a strange one. It doesn't make any sense. There's just like a group of Canadian superheroes, and they're all kind of shitty. And one of them is like a fucking Yeti. One of them is a Yeti, Sasquatch. Yeah. One of them's a Yeti. Like, there's a couple like random mutants. Like, this is where North Star gets to start. One of them's like Captain America. If Captain America was like what everyone imagined Captain America to be, but he's Captain Canada. <laughs> Captain Canada. It's like if Great Lakes Avengers wasn't a joke. Yeah, I, I think less of a joke. Because they're kind of a joke, but... But they take themselves just seriously enough. Yeah. What is Great Lakes Avengers? It's a joke. It's a, it's, it's, it's a parody Avengers group. It's basically... It's not the origin of Squirrel Girl, but it's like Squirrel Girl's first run. So. Yeah. Oh my, I have very low health. Oh. What did that happen? <laughs> Yeah, I've kind of, I mean, not that I'm great at this game, but I've, this has been kind of fucking me up. Yeah, very out, very out, very out that easily. Very, it's a tough one, yeah. We're starting to transition into, like, the, the really tough ones, so. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the the co-writer for Liefeld's Deadpool uh, started turning him into, like, the quippier and pop culture referency guy. And, and then, like fourth wall breaking meta kind uh, of. That was, and then that was the next uh, group that took over once uh, Life Elf uh, and the other co creators. Was that Jerry gone. Duggan? It was. All right. I think uh, that was Chris Mark Wade. Mark Wade. Oh, yeah. Mark I'm, Wade, the, one of the most prolific comic writers in the business. I made a very conscious decision that in my mind he was Bugs Bunny. And it's just like, yeah, well, that's, that's where he turns uh, into. Uh, that's where he turns into that. that. Makes sense. Mm. Uh, Tim, you or me? I'll do it. I got my hands all glowy. You glow those hands. It is amazing gotcha. that this thing still breathes. Yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like it's been taking a beating and still here. <laughs> yeah. I'm still here. I can't see you ever. Well, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> you be well, Anyway, yeah. But yeah, so Harry Hello. Styles is in Eternals, and I did not recognize him. Huh. People are obsessed with Harry Styles. I don't get it. I also don't get it. And it's not, it's not like out of a dumb sense of like, stupid pretty boy kind of thing. It's more out of a sense of extremely generic bad pop music. Yeah, I get someone like eminently likable somehow. Uh, I've never really understood One Direction. I mean, I, I that's because you were I not mean, a teenage I, girl yeah. in two thousand and ten. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's true. That's fair. Unless, unless. No, I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't. Okay, no. just right. had to check. I thought so. Yeah, fair. But no. 